All right, so today we're gonna update the uh, my Yaesu FT710. I have the download instructions uh, on my iPad. Uh, these are straight off the website, and so they should be current. Here's the radio here. I also have the um, the FT710 page open on my computer. Um, and we'll go retrieve the uh, files from there. But the first thing I wanna do is uh, just make a couple of notes. I've seen several videos on YouTube where uh, people have upgraded their FT710s, but I've never seen anyone uh, go completely through the instructions, which is what I intend to do. It's interesting there is a uh, note <clears throat> out midway down about removing the USB cable for the uh, from the computer and it's it sounds like it's in the event of a uh, if you update the main uh, portion of the, of the firmware versus the display first um, I don't really understand uh, why that would be but uh, just in uh, an abundance of caution I've gone ahead and removed the uh, the um, the USB cable uh, from my computer. So we'll proceed. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I will check the current version of firmware um, on the FT710, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so now we're gonna check the current version of the firmware on the radio as it is right now. And you do that by hitting the function button and going to extension settings. And let's see, soft version. Yep, okay. So hopefully you can see that okay. The main, I'm gonna write these down as I'm describing them to you. So main is V01-08. Display is V01-06. DSP is V01-00. SDR V01-03. And DST, is that related to the time? I don't know what that means. DST USA. Okay, so that's the current version of software. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, break open one of the new SD cards that I bought. This is a 32 gig uh, SDHC. I did look on did look in the manual, and um, it notated that uh, this card should be compatible with the radio. So what we'll do is we'll we'll insert this into the radio, format it, and then I'm going to write the memory. Um, uh, list and the menu settings. I'm going to uh, back those up on this disk and then I'll use a second one to uh, do the actual firmware upgrade. All right, as I stated earlier, I'm going to do the complete instructions um, from Yesu on this firmware update. One of the notations um, on page, on the, at the bottom of page one, says that the transceiver must be reset immediately after updating the firmware. Resetting the transceiver will clear all memories and setting data of the settings menu. It's recommended the memory data saved in the memory channels and the setting data of the settings menu be backed up before updating the transceiver firmware. Refer to memory data and setting menu data described in the operation manual for the backup procedure. So that's what we're going to do here. That's what I'm going to do. Um, all right. So what I've done, it sounds like there's a contest going on. Let me turn that down a little bit. It sounds like it's QRP to the field currently going on right now. So that gives you an idea of the date. Today is April 19th, 2025. So I have um, broken out this SCHC card, which was no small trick. It was very well sealed. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll put this in the SD card slot of the radio 
And what I'm anticipating is that it will ask me to uh, format it. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. We will format it and then we will um, back up the, um, uh, the memory and the menu settings. So let's do that. Okay, it's been inserted. And there's the setup question. And I'm going to go ahead and say um, no. And then I'm going to go back to the extension settings. And we'll go to SD card. And it needs to be formatted first. So let's see. All right, firmware update. There we go, format. So you click, you should push on done, and then it should proceed with the format. All right, here we go. Format SD card. Okay. And now it's formatting. Okay, format complete. Click on that. All right. Now, what we're gonna do here, see where it says memory uh, list save and menu save. So we're gonna do both of those. Okay. Memory list save will be first. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and go with the default name. But I do want to make a list that it is um, the memory. So we'll go with uh, mem list. And then we'll go. The nomenclature I like to use is day. Today is the 19th. And then the month. Oops. I'm go to year twenty twenty five. Oh, I see. I'm running out of space. All right, so. Still running out of space. Let me just do this then, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we won't. Okay. Okay, memory. Save. And then 1904 I get that. Enter processing and now saving which I don't have very many memories in there so it shouldn't take that long okay and then we'll click through and then we're gonna go to menu save now this is an important one because wait did I let's go back which one did I go menu save yeah okay and then menu. Fourteen. Uh, Nineteen. Two zero two five. Because when I when I uh, factory reset the. Uh, the radio, it's going to wipe out all the memories and it's going to wipe out all the menu settings. And I've had this radio probably about, well, it's easily been a year. I've not updated the settings. And so or I'm, I've not updated the firmware is what I meant. Um, but I have taken uh, great care in setting up the settings and I don't want to lose those um, after I format 
not format, after I factory reset the radio. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and shut the radio off. And then I'm gonna eject the uh, SD card. Okay, so now I should have, <laughs> I guess we should go back and double check that, shouldn't we? Why don't we do that? Let's just make sure it's on there. So I'll turn on the radio again, and then uh, I'm gonna insert the memory card one more time. Whoops, because I wanna make sure that those files are indeed on there. Okay, so let's see, SD card. And then information, maybe? Yep, nope. Free space, 29.7 capacity. Let's see here. I guess I need to figure out how to read that, don't I? So that's the information, menu save, menu list. Check this again, 29, and it's a 32 gig. It says there's 29 um, available. Okay, but I wanna see the files that are on there. How do I do that? Just let's have a second here. Okay, so simple. I just moved the uh, SD card to the computer and uh, saw that it created a list here, a file structure here and a, a directory called FT710. And when I click on that, I go into the mem list and I can see that my memory file is there. In fact, that's the name I gave it. And then now we'll go to the uh, menu and that indeed is also uh, the file in place. Whoops and uh, it does also has the name that I gave it. So I'm gonna eject that now and we'll continue. Okay. Eject USB. Okay, go back to here. Man, I really wanna answer this guy. <laughs> okay, so memory file has been uh, formatted and loaded with the uh, the memory backup, meaning any memory that I've stored, and also the menu settings. So we'll continue now. Okay, so here we go. So I have uh, broken into uh, the other sound card packaging, um, sealed very well, and uh, thank you SanDisk. And I've labeled that FW for firmware. The other is labeled M for <laughs> Whoop, menu and memory. All right, and so, all right, so per the instructions, the first thing to do is, let's see here, I'll just show you. So it says main display DSP and SDR firmware available. Check the firmware and let it up. Okay, so yeah, so SD card preparation. Format the SD card in advance with the transceiver and before updating the firmware for information about SD cards that can be used and the formatting procedure refer to the uh, using the SD card desc described in the operation manual. And I do recommend if you have not read the manual for this wonderful radio, really, uh, that you do that. And I do have that open here as well. And I'm just kind of referring to both of them as we go, as I go through this. Why do I keep saying we? The only person here is me. Okay. Um, so it says how to confirm the firmware version. We've already done that and have recorded it. And so now what we need to do, what I need to do is uh, let's go ahead and uh, again, insert the, uh, the sound card into the radio. And then we're gonna go to no again. And then what we'll, what I'll do is hit function, extension settings, and then what we're gonna wanna do here under SD card is format. All right, so let's do that. Format SD card, okay. And we'll let that run for a second. While I take a drink of coffee, hmm. Okay. 
The other thing I recommend if you don't, and you're, if you do have an FT710 and you don't have this already, is to um, definitely get yourself a monitor and connect it to the DVI output, DVI-D, because um, it makes it so much easier uh, to use. All right, so let's go through that. That's done. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn her off. Her, I mean the radio. Then I will take out the SD card and then I'm going to plug it into my computer. Okay. So the SD card opened automatically on my desktop. Um, as usual, your mileage, my, my mileage may differ. Um, so it created this structure, right? So FT710 is the home directory or the root directory. And also, uh, capture it creates this structure of directories, right? And there's nothing in them. So what the next step will be is we will download the firmware from the AC website, unzip it um, onto the onto the computer, uh, my computer, and then we'll extract it. And then we're going to copy those files and place them into the root directory of the um, of this FT710 folder. Okay, so let's do that.